Hey guys, it's Jean, and today I'm going to show you what Back Button can do for you. So the first thing you'll notice right away is that Back Button keeps track of your selection. It's uh, like many navigators uh, for Unity out there. It will keep track of your selection and allow you to go back to previous selection. You can do this by using the previous button or next button. You can, of course, right click on the buttons uh, to jump to previous items or you know you can click in the recent history up here to you know jump to those items but and that's uh, something that is unique to back button you can actually use your mouse so if you can hear it I'm actually using my mouse previous and next buttons or x1 and x2 um, and back button actually catches those events and makes sure that your selection is updated. Another thing that back button does is give you uh, a simple favorite system. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to favorite this frog prefab. I can just click on the star; it will appear in the favorite row. You know, same thing with these, and of course, I can unfavorite as much as I want. Uh, if I do the same thing with scene, uh, project objects, then it will go in the bottom row uh, because these favorites actually will stay if you change scene, but these will not. Um, another thing is double clicking. If you double click on an item, it will open um, the item in, you know, in this case, in Visual Studio or Photoshop if you're opening a texture or a scene, it will just open a scene. Um, and if you double click on the scene object, for instance, like this frog prefab or this whole leaves too, uh, it will focus the, the, the scene view on it. But that's not all. One of the uh, coolest features of back button is the uh, drag and drop support. So let me show you this. So for starters, you can actually, it's sort of a tangential feature, but you can click and hold to lock any object in the inspector. Uh, and by itself, this is not extremely useful. It's mostly useful to tell you that the inspector is locked. Uh, and if you're like me and you forget that it is, uh, you often wonder because that little icon is tiny. At least now you got a big red thing. Um, but in combination with drag and drop, it's extremely useful. So let me show you an example. Let's say, for instance, that I have a bunch of objects in my scene and they're kind of a mess uh, on purpose here. Uh, but I have this one important object here, the critter root, uh, that I'm going to favorite, actually. And I want to reparent a bunch of these objects to my critter root. All right, so I, I'm, I select a bunch of objects and now I need to go find what to reparent them to. So of course I could you know, scroll up and down the hierarchy but if my object is hard to find, in this case it's at the top, so it isn't really, but let's pretend. Um, what I could do is just hover over the critter root object, and now it's been pinged, so now I have access to it, I can reparent to that. Uh, but that's not all. Let's say, for instance, I have another object, um, let's say it's this cube, that has members. In this case, it's an array, right? that I want to have uh, a bunch of uh, um, objects from the scene point, you know, are put into. What I could do is select all my objects. Let's say I want, you know, these three spider prefabs, frog prefab, etc. I can hover over the cube, hold it. It will lock the cube and the inspector on it while keeping my selection. And now I can just drop my items. Well, of course, I, you know, I put three empty things in there, but let's do it again, actually. Let's do that, 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 and now I'm going to do this. Um, and then, of course, when you're done, you can unlock it. So this is something you could have done before. Um, you know, of course, you could just lock the item, then you do your selection and then you drag and drop. Uh, but this allows you to sort of like skip, skip that step. And it's extremely useful when you're assigning textures to materials or array of you know objects or components or anything like that. Um, 
that about covers uh, the features of Back Button. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.